Okay, now we're going to talk about something else that's new and it's a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can, even though it's not that simple. But a lot of people ask me about death. And I was watching Westworld the other day, and it was at the end of season two, for those of you who have watched it. Spoiler alert. There is a there, there is a virtual door, and these people are running up with physical bodies, and they jump through this doorway, this opening, and they drop off their human bodies. They fall into a cliff, but they can't see that. They continue to run into the virtual world. They don't even know anything's happened, right? They've just gone from one place to another. Completely transformed into something else didn't feel a bit, bit different. That's what it's like when you die. You don't... You just transform into something else. You just keep running. You just keep going. And you just keep going. And you can drop that body and go to someplace else. And drop. It's just quick and easy. The only exception to that is that the human body, that body that you're borrowing to wear, it has, it's the one that decides how it's going to die. It is its decision whether or not to experience um, soft, calm death or extreme, extremely traumatic death. It's its decision. It's not yours. You don't choose. You choose when to leave. You 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 will choose up to a certain point. But when it comes down to it, as what it's going to feel like, death itself. That death experience is the body's. It's not yours. You don't die. You have been infinite. You will be infinite. You will never die. From the physical body's point, it's going to transform too. Um, it will call it death, but it's going to go back to Gaia. It's going to transform from one thing to another, and that transformation is going to take a lot longer than it will for you. You will do it in a split second, and if you leave the game, you'll be out of even a second, because there's no such thing as time over there. But the body can experience it as long as it wants. As a consciousness, it is your choice to stay with the body on its decision, okay? If it decides to have a long, painful death, you are, and you want to experience things from that perspective, you stay and you ride along. If the body says, nope, I'm just going to be pruning roses and drop dead, that's it, then you either have a choice. You can either experience that or there are always people dying there are always things dying so if you want to bounce around and experience different kinds of death from different perspectives when you leave your body you can do that too uh, when you leave your consciousness leaves the body unless you are in a reincarnational loop that you want to stick to even then you could leave it if you wanted to whether it's incarnational on a new planet or reincarnation on the same if you're doing that whole game then those people usually don't bounce around on the whole death thing but it does happen a lot you know there's a lot of consciousness that'll leave and they'll have like a really fast death it happens more like there's more fast deaths than there is anything else and maybe they want to check something else out so they might jump into a fly that's about swatted and see what that's like. Because from that perspective, everything is vibration. It's not. It's outside the five human senses at that point. When you leave the body, you can zoom around and have this other experience. And you don't go, oh my God, why did I jump in this fly? I'm broken, I'm hurting. You don't do any of that. You just go, oh, vibrational, this is what it looks like. Okay, click, data, good, move. So, the death procedure of death and what you feel and what you don't, uh, and I've said this on other videos, if you don't want to feel the pain, then leave. But don't judge the body. The body gets to choose. It's it's right. It's got a consciousness too. It's partnering with you. And that is the one area that the body gets to have the final say. It gets to have the final say on what it experiences at the time of death. And by time of death, I don't mean the last years dying slowly of cancer either. I mean the time of death. They get to say. They get to say. Now you can have decide you want an experience of slowly dying for five years. That's your call. You get to take that one. 
But when it comes to the moment when the person dies, whether that's going to be extremely painful, very traumatic, soft and gentle, instantaneous, that's the body's decision, not yours. And that agreement was made a long time ago. You would never, ever, ever tromp on it. And so uh, try not to do the big J word. Don't judge those physical bodies for the choices that they make. Again, guys, keep saying to yourselves as you're looking around at what's going along around the planet right now, stop judging other people. I encourage you to laugh with the people who are laughing and let the other ones have the experience that they desire. You don't know what they're trying to do. You don't know what is occurring. This whole thing is very complex. And it's happening very fast. And there's a lot of stuff going on that you have no idea what's going on. You have no idea what's going on. If you could see what was going on, you would stop this judgment. But you can't see it. So you're just going to have to understand that if you even begin to understand that you're a God, even the beginnings of it, and that everything else is, doesn't it not make sense that you shouldn't be judging another God on what they're doing? Ever? I mean, doesn't it just follow? All you Christians, would you get up in Jehovah's face and go, hey, stop doing that. That's a horrible thing to do. Would you do? No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. Neither would any of the other religions. So thank your religious gods. I don't not new age, little word, you're a God, you're part of the God, your creation is with the God. No, you are a G, capital G, capital O, capital D, bigger than any of the gods that they know of God. And so is everything and everyone else. So try to remember that. Uh, if you don't, it's not going to feel good. It's just that simple. Because as everything raises in the fourth dimension, people... Um, bite back. They they remember more of their God powers, so it's not going to be as easy as it was in the third dimension. They're gonna they're gonna bite back. So walk away. Just walk away. You laugh over here. You cry over here. Those are two different groups. You don't take your crying friends to the birthday party of the five year old, right? And you don't take your five year old birthday party to somebody who just lost their mother's funeral. No, it's rude, right? Okay, think big picture here. You can use your human understanding in these other levels. Just think about it. You don't go up to somebody who's chose this job over that job and say, well, that was stupid. You should have done this, not that. You don't do that. Shouldn't do that. Parents do it, but that's all. Nobody else is allowed. Best <laughs> friends, maybe. But they're probably not, not going to listen to you, and they're going to do what they want to do. This is the way all of this game is. Think of everything along those lines. Okay? I think that's it on that one. Uh, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.